Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Alright, so today, you know what? I know I've been doing a lot of like video game news and my channel's been pretty much all over the place, you know, talking about different topics. But you know what? I actually learned how to do something pretty cool and I seen that a lot of people also um, like at working out tutorials on stuff like that. So I figured, you know what? I'll just add my own tutorial on there too. So what I'm going to show you guys today is how to make a triggered scene for your video. So let's get started. All right. So for this video, I actually just googled uh, triggered, and I found actually Ethan's uh, picture here from H3H3. So we're just going to use that because he has such a beautiful face. <laughs> All right. So first thing you want to do is you want to add the picture onto Sony Vegas Pro. Uh, and as soon as it's added right there, what you want to do next is go to the little icon right here of event pan and crop. You're going to click on that. Now, I already got started somewhat, so the video doesn't take too long, really. What you want to do is right here at the bottom, you see all of these dots right here, right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click. You, obviously, there's not going to be any of this here once you start. So you're going to start from the beginning. You're just going to click right here. Make sure they're as close as possible each dot. Okay, so at, once you click on it, you're going to move the picture. Let's say you want to shift it to the right, make a shake to the right. And then you're going to make another dot right next to it. And you're going to make a shake to the left. You know, however you want it set up. And you're just going to keep doing that and doing that until it's pretty much making a motion. Just going left and right. Just like that. But make sure they're as close as possible because if they're too spread out far apart, it's going to be moving very, very slowly and it's it's not going to work out very good. So um, I'm just going to keep doing this, you know, as fast as I can. Let me see here. Do it again. And do it again. And one more time. I'm not very good when it comes to tutorials, but you know, I just figured I'd show you guys how I learned how to do it. Uh, so you're going to keep going back and forth just like that. And just like that, we're almost done here. I'm pretty much going by each line. Uh, this is pretty much the length of the video. I wanted to go all the way through through the video. And once you do this, you won't have to do it again. Just, you know, once you make your own triggered like video to add in your videos, just save it, put it in a folder, and then add it to you, like your videos later on down the line whenever you want to add it. It's already there. It's already made for you. So after you're done that, um, after you made it, the camera pretty much picture shake left and right, you're going to exit, and then you're going to see how it turns out. And as you can see, it's still, it's, it's fat, believe me, if the, those line, those dots weren't close, this thing would be going super slow. So if you want to go really fast, what you're going to do is go here to the end, you're going to hold control, and you're going to go all the way. Well, not all the way, actually. Let's see how fast this is. So yeah, we're gonna see you see how fast it's going there. Now you can just there you go. That's actually pretty good. Uh, why don't we make it go a little bit faster? There we go. That's actually pretty good. So you guys are getting the effect right now. Now all you need is the the background sound. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just go to YouTube, type in trigger sound effect. I found this video, and you're gonna get this. That's the sound usually you'll get from like other trig uh, videos that you see that have that scene in, especially once like Leafy is here. So what you're going to do is, I'm not going to show you how to download it, just like copy the link and download it however way you can. And then once you have the, the video, you can add it uh, right here. Let me see if I have it here. I named it Trigger, so I have the video right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut the video up. Just like that. It doesn't really matter. Then you're gonna get rid of the video by pressing clicking on it, pressing U, uh, deleting the top, dragging the video all the way here, and just matching it up with the video. Good enough. Then you go to the beginning and hit play. Just like that. That's pretty much it. It's really actually really easy. You know, I wanna speed that up just a little bit more. All the way. Actually and make that now. Let's see how it works. Now that is what I call a triggered video right there. That is actually pretty cool. Now for me, I'm obviously not going to use Ethan in my videos, but I, once in a while, if I want to just be funny or whatever, uh, I'm definitely going to be making my own triggered video <laughs> just to add once in a while. Uh, I am trying to learn. Uh, right now I'm in the middle of just like really learning different types like of effects or things I can add into my videos. I'm still learning with so Sony Vegas Pro 13. 
Um, so yeah, um, if I learn anything new or anything like that, um, I'll see if maybe I can also do another tutorial on it. I hope this helped you guys out a lot. So if you guys enjoyed the video or if uh, you think I did a good job in somewhat of a tutorial, drop a like on this video and also leave a comment down below. It helps me out a lot. It means a lot to me too. So thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you at another time, another video. Take care.